Let's continue for the Cloud Control 13C setup. Today is the last one for this video series. Step 11, OMS setup alert. <clears throat> the alert is generally when you set up uh, according to the alert rules that will be sent to the notification to the DBA so they can take care of it. Let me give you the basically a uh, summary what I did for this university. <coughs> we get a little bit bigger. There's two things you need to do to set up alert. One is you can set up alert rules. Set. The rules set will be holding all of the rules you set up. Before I set up for rules, so for everything, if something is triggered in OMS, it is going to send to DBA. So DBA has told me he's got thousand uh, alert each day that's too much she cannot even work so she said before she on, only got uh, you know 300 per week i say okay fine let me find something i need to set up for you so just uh, basically here's i said for them <laughs> one is if the agent unreachable, create incident. The reason is say for agent unreachable, everything on this host cannot be reported. The second is say for system is done, no matter what it is, target. Any target is done will be create instance. The third one is target the monitoring disruption. If it's monitoring and dis disrupted, and then of course you cannot get any information. The next next one is the metric alert. Metric generally uh, default uh, OMS have some metric setup for each uh, systems. If the over threshold, it is going to send the alert out. So this one generally we need it for it. Another thing is uh, clear the metric evaluation events. And what happened is uh, say some events could be there for forever if you didn't do anything with it, right? But for example, shut down database for five days, but it stay there for five days. But actually it's the schedule to shut down you don't need to do anything with it. In that case, we set up these rules if over three days, and then clear this uh, incident. So this is the five of them so generally. I think is good enough for one university or good enough for one company. Let's start it to see how can we do this. To set up this uh, uh, alert rules, and then you first you go set up, click on incident, incident rule. It will give you the one screens. Uh, this is screens for you to use. Create rule set. The rule set can hold different rules. So let's create one. You click on here. The next window, the name you give the name like a college or enterprise incident rules or anything else, A, B, C, D, E, F, T, that'd be fun. And then you go next one is create rules in this rule set. Create rules, you have uh, the type rules uh, to select from. Uh, you can play with these uh, three of them. I charged the number two, I saw number two is valid. That's uh, how I create one 
alert. I thought it'd be easy for me to create one, but that said, that sent the thousand mail to the DBA. So later I will just figure out one by one how can I limit it. This is one of them I use in incoming events and update to event. The first one, like I told before, the first one will be the agent unreachable, right? You click on the target availability. This is try to select, and then you select, click here, you got agent. When you select, check the agent unreachable, click OK. When you come back, you see this page. You got one rule setup, agent, agent unreachable. You can do the same thing for the others uh, before you go to step two. Was it totals uh, any time when you create uh, alert rule, there's a four step to follow. But you can create this one at the same time, the first step doesn't matter. So I still chose target availability. And then this one will be called host, right? In the host, I chose if host is down up but on monitoring host unreachable agent or host unreachable either one happen and then create accident this is generally is a, you know great one is four steps this is the first step right? the second step you got to do is you create action by now you see we've created two of them at the same time, only on the step one, the agent and also host, right? But you do need to choose the action for it. The action is uh, what you're going to do, you create an accident, you just ignore it, you do not do anything, right? Or generally, I would say in this case, when these two situations, agent and host situation happen, I create an incident. Each event create a new incident. So this is action you take. You click on continue. The second step is generally, uh, you know, the action summary give you something about it. Create agent, create incident. So this is word select. The third step just to give names. Say for example, good agent for unreachable agent. This is names. You save the names. You click next. The number four here. You got information before you do not have action part. By now you got agent host is to see what it is, and then the action is create incidents. Basically. You already created two alert, and you click continue. Another thing that we set up here is to, uh, for the system, say it's a target. No matter what it is, it's a database, a host, or listener, or a rank. If either, say that any target is down, we want to report it to alert the DBA, say, system is down. So this is one we try to create. You still choose the target availability, and then all target types, no matter what it is. It can be web server, it can be database server. So select and down. If it's done, you create rule. The next one be action page. On the action page, the same thing, you will create incident, and each event create a new incident. Click continue, and then you will do number three. You put name there, say, the name can be create incidents for down target. When you click next, will be done. The another ones I talked to before, say, what we needed to do when the monitoring disruption happened, right? So this one, we do need one 
alert. So in the type, this time you choose target monitoring disruption. Yeah, you will go to the four same steps. Uh, check the action, give names, and continue to do it. So the name will be is the create incidents for target monitoring disruption. And you click next, you got another one. <coughs> This one's probably most DBA know. So if you have, a, if you create a cron job, you know, if you monitor system and set the threshold. For example, if your disk space over 90%, you got to report it, right? So this metric alert you needed for the monitoring. So you select type equals to metric alert. Go through four steps. Create action and give the name, say, create incident for metric alert. <laughs> Click continue and next. Mm. So, you, the last one I already talked to you. The reason is the one you say the metric evaluation lasts a pretty long time. What are you going to do? Right? So, here is we try to limit it for three days. If uh, over three days, stop doing, stop to send the information again. So, metric evaluation form is the type to choose. When you choose this one, this is the first step. The next step will be you're not choosing the event match the following the creative. The, not choosing this one, you choose the second one. Event has been open for specific duration. I chose this one, they give a choice. You need to set up how long you're going to take care of it. So here I chose three days. If open for three days, okay, what are you going to do? Associate the incidents is not acknowledged. Here is the, I, I, I select this one and then click continue. When you're doing this one, you got the message, say clear events, what the meaning is clear permanently. So when you get back, you got this one, list as rules. If the event has been open for three days, clear the event. You give the name, right? Same thing like they've been. Create a metric evaluation event older than three days. When you're down, you click on next one, and then you got this one. By now, let's see the totally the summary page. When we when we did it first, we create rule set. This rule set, the name under here. You click on this one, then. You got the summary page. You have five rules applied to. This is one of you select when you create rules. And the action, what are you going to do? Right? Create incidents. So the last one, if the event has been open for three days, this is the condition. So. This is generally the way what I did for the one university to set up the alert. It's a, you know, it's a total of the 11 tasks. So I already go through it. And then uh, hopefully that will be help you. If you have the same task, I hope it will save your time as you don't need to read a lot of document for work or document uh, because I read it. Uh, hundred hundred page when I finish reading I still don't know what to do so I have to play with it finally I can get it to what it is by this way I try to share my experience with you hopefully it can save you some time if you want to say set up the whole systems you go through the exactly it's 11 steps one system will be established and save you some time, hope. 
and thanks for watching.